Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a third year, fifth grade teacher in West Michigan, and I am super excited for today's video. This video is actually sponsored by Cricut. It is, I know, I'm surprised too. I'm super excited. I've wanted to work with Cricut forever. I love Cricut. I've had my Cricut Explore machine since I got hired for my job. So before I even started teaching, it was like my first big purchase that I made when I knew I had a teaching job lined up, and I've used it for so many things around my classroom. So today I'm gonna to be using my new Cricut Joy machine as well as a bunch of other little goodies to create a couple of self-care type things or just like positive energy type things around my classroom and then also for my house. So I'm super excited about that and yeah, I'm just like over the moon to be working with Cricut because I love them. Other than that, I have a couple other things on my self-care list today. So here is my self-care list for the day. Some of the things that I want to do today are get outside, take a walk at some point. I would love to take a walk to the beach. It's cold out today, but it is sunny, so I'll take it. And then also doing my little crafting projects. That is a self-care activity in itself. And then I also do want to make sure that I pick out my outfits for the week. So those are the things I plan on doing today. So I'm pumped. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is make a sticker using my new Cricut Joy to put right on my affirmation station. So this is just a cheapy mirror that I got. It's like a floor length mirror, kind of. It's one of those like smaller ones that you can get in like the college section when it's back to school time. And then I have all these little affirmations around the mirror, but I thought it would be fun to put a sticker right on the mirror itself. So put like vinyl lettering on there. And if it turns out cute, I wanna do it on my home mirror too. I actually just got a new like nice mirror for at home because I didn't have like a nice pretty big mirror that I could take like outfit of the day pictures in so if it turns out cute here I might have to do it at home tonight too we will see what happens but I'm gonna try this first I probably should go make my copies first but this sounds a lot more fun so I'm gonna do that okay so I am just about ready to add my vinyl to the mirrors I'm super excited I just got my Cricut Joy all like plugged in and ready to go it seriously is so so quick you can make amazing projects in like 15 minutes or less because it's just like this tiny little machine that you can take with you anywhere. I even have this cute little travel bag and look at how cute this is. Like this is just like so trendy, so fun. And usually I would bring my big Cricut Explore back and forth between work and home. But now I love that I have this Cricut Joy that I can either leave at school or if I wanna bring it home, it's super easy to bring it back and forth because it's really small and portable. So let's go ahead and do this cut. I'm super excited. So I already designed the lettering in the Cricut design space on my MacBook and now I just need to cut it out. It pairs via Bluetooth, so it's already paired and ready to go. So. Let's cut out these letters. I'm really excited. I'm going to use this vinyl, which is Cricut Joy as well. Looks like this super cute little vinyl container. So, so fun. So let's open this up. I have some nice safety scissors here to help out the process. So smart vinyl and then load tools and materials. Oh my gosh, so fun. Okay, are you ready for this? Here we go. Okay, so right now what I'm gonna do is take some scissors and cut around my design or my words so that way it makes it easier to weed them. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. So first I'm just finding where my words are and I'm taking these sharp scissors and cutting around. I had to dig around a little bit for some sharp scissors because I didn't feel like using my safety scissors anymore. So no regrets, these are much better. Okay, so here are my two designs. So I have this one. Again, you probably won't really be able to tell until I start weeding it, but this is the first one. And then the second one, I made it like stacked. So this is the second one. So now what I found is easiest, for me at least, is I actually put it back on the mat to weed it. So I'm gonna stick it on the mat because it just makes weeding it really easy. Oh, also actually, before I do that even, I'm gonna peel that first layer. And I'm just doing this nice and slow so I don't accidentally tear my design at all because I've definitely done that before. So it pays off to have some patience. I'm not always great at patience, but I try. This part is like so satisfying too when you're peeling off that layer. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. So now this is what it looks like. You can kind of start to see it. And then I can start weeding in between 
like that A or the O and stuff like that and take out those tiny pieces with my little weeding tool. So I'm gonna do that in just a moment. Okay, so I'm taking my little tool and then I'm just looking for any spots that have vinyl where I don't want vinyl and then just taking those out. This is actually like kind of fun. Okay, I can already tell this is gonna be really, really cute and I'm super excited. So now what I'm gonna do is just stick this like a sticker right onto the mirror and then pull up the transfer tape. So I think I'm just gonna do it right up at the top here. And I'm gonna try to make sure it's centered. If I were more patient, I would probably like set the mirror down and do it on the ground and stuff, but I just don't feel like doing that. So we're just gonna stick with this because it's, you know, pretty much foolproof. So now what I'm gonna do is just stick it onto the mirror and I'm just using my finger to get it all nice and down on the mirror. And then I'm not pressing down like the edge of the transfer tape, I'm only pressing down on the vinyl. Okay, and then we're gonna peel it up. Let's see how we did. Wait, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, it looks so stinking cute. Okay, let me do a couple of close ups so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the mirror. And I seriously am obsessed with it. Like this is so stinking cute and that was so easy. And I'm just so excited. So I love that that's just like part of our little affirmation station now, part of our little mirror. Okay, so I decided to come home because I wanted to make sure to take a walk before the sunset. So I'm gonna take my walk and then I will put my vinyl on my at home mirror and then I wanna show you guys all sorts of other projects I've done as well. So now it is walk time though, so let's do this. Actually, I'm gonna bundle up a little bit more cause it's cold, but then it's walk time for sure. had the most beautiful walk as you guys already saw and then decided to switch out my nails I've been doing this like about every two weeks and I really really like these ones these are the impress color press on manicure ones and I believe I got these at Ulta maybe I got them at Walmart though I'm not really sure they're the color Yolo which just like feels really fitting for this video because I'm focusing on self-care but yes I really love these they last about two weeks they're great and yeah I feel like I talk about them in like every single video and I just really like them so now I have fun yellow nails which just makes me like extra sunshiny and happy so that's fun and I actually already put a little sticker on the mirror because I got excited so I'm going to show you what that looks like and then I do have a couple more crafting type projects that I think I'm going to be really ambitious and take on tonight I really want to make a mask and then also I kind of want to make a t-shirt because I have like a plain t-shirt that I want to kind of like spruce up a little bit so I have that and yeah I do have like a couple other like little things in mind but we'll see I don't know if I'm being like overly ambitious but I brought my little Cricut Joy home because it's like so easy to bring back and forth and then I have like a little mini heat press as well so I think I'm just like gonna get started but let me pull you off really quick first and show you the mirror because it looks super stinking cute so here we go so I just got this huge mirror from Home Goods in like the last couple weeks, so they probably still have it. They had a bunch at mine, and I really love it. This is our spare bedroom over here, and like that's my closet over that way. So I get dressed in here every day, and I thought it would be fun to have a little mirror sticker in here too, and I think it turned out so stinking cute. I'm like obsessed with it, and yeah, it just makes me happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna get out my Cricut Joy, and I'm going to make some things. I don't really know what exactly yet. I have like lots of ideas but I just think it would be fun so I'm gonna keep making some things and doing that my cat is very interested in what's going on here but I'm gonna keep making some things until I don't feel like making things anymore that's the plan also I'm gonna drink my water because I'm like constantly thirsty and that's on being hypoglycemic but if you're not always thirsty this is a friendly reminder to drink your water also my water bottle and my nails match right now so that's really fun 
Okay, so I think I decided what I want to make first is just a little label for this bin because I think what I'm going to do is start storing my masks in here, like my clean masks, because right now I just have them in like a drawer and I think it would be better to have them in like a nice little container. And so I'm just going to put like masks or maybe like wear a mask or something like that on the side. I haven't exactly decided yet, um, but I'm going to use this vinyl, which is super cool. This is specifically for the Cricut Joy, which is that cutie little machine over there that I have. And and what's really neat about it is you can get these smart vinyls right here or smart materials and basically what it means is you don't actually have to use the cutting mat with it at all like it'll just load with just this which is like very fancy technology so this is actually writable vinyl but I'm not gonna do any like writing on it or anything like that just because I just don't want to for this project but this is what I'm gonna use and I'm really excited this is the same stuff that I used for my mirror stickers as well and it worked really well. So let's do this. Okay, so I finished my project and it's super sinking cute. Clean masks. It's like really simple, but yeah, now I have all of my clean masks in here, which I do have a ton because I have been teaching in person all the school year. And so I've accumulated many different masks. So yes, this is pretty much full and I love it. And then also I decided to work on a couple other little projects and I didn't film these just because I knew it would go a lot faster if I didn't and I kind of wanted to just like enjoy them. So I made this t-shirt. I had this just blank t-shirt. It was like $3. And then I added this super cute little vinyl quote that says, be kind to yourself. And I thought this would just be fun. I really like like cheesy inspirational t-shirts and I can wear this one like out and about but I also could wear this teaching and I just think it's really, really cute. So so love that and then I also made this mask and this one I probably should have centered it a little bit better but it says you've got this and I thought this would be fun to wear like when my kids are testing or just like in general but when I put it on you can tell it kind of looks like a curve but I'm gonna pretend I did that on purpose and like it's supposed to look like a smile because it kind of looks like a smile right <laughs> you like look at that it's really cute though, but I actually have a bunch of these blank masks that I got a while ago and I'm thinking I probably will make some more of these cute little quote ones and when I make my next ones, I'll probably center my vinyl a little bit higher up and then I'll make sure it's straight before I actually iron it on, but I want to show you a couple of the tools that I used. So I used this really cool little heat pad from Cricut. There's a little Cricut tag on there. And this is basically like a little mini ironing board. It almost feels like what you would take to like a ball game to put on the chair. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Those like little squishy seats. But this thing worked great. It was awesome for iron on. And then also I have this adorable little heat press mini. Hold on, it's still kind of hot. So I want to be careful when I'm holding it up. But this is what that looks like. Super cute. This is like super adorable. It's really small as you can tell, but it worked perfect for my little projects and I really liked it. And it's kind of nice because I didn't have to like go downstairs and turn on our big iron or fuss with that. I just could use this super cute little one and it's like adorable. Like, come on, how cute is that? It looks like a big American Girl doll iron or something. <laughs> <laughs> so those are my projects. I'm feeling really excited about all of the things that I made and then also excited to make some more things soon. So I'm sure that you will see them popping up in future vlogs as well. And if you have any ideas of anything you've recently made with your Cricut, either for your classroom or for home or whatever, or if you've seen any ideas on like Instagram or Pinterest or whatever that you really liked, definitely let me know in a comment below because I love just like personalizing all the things and just like making cool things with my Cricut. So definitely let me know in a comment below what have you seen that's really cool that I should try. Also, let me know in a comment below what is one thing that you are going to do to take care of yourself today. I've been asking that on the last several of my videos and I wanted to ask it on today's as well because I think it's really important and I really wanna get that message across that it is so important to take care of yourself and that you will be a happier, healthier human if you are prioritizing your own self and your own self-care. So definitely let me know in a comment below what are you doing today or what have you already done today to take care of yourself? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring this vlog. It was seriously a dream come true. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.